Alright guys, two videos going out today. One is obviously a new patch for Star Citizen. And the other will be a just sort of like a reaction to Inside Star Citizen. So like an Inside Star Citizen watch party. So let's go through and let's talk about this new patch. It is still an Eva Cardi. Like I said yesterday, I am expecting it to go to wider PTU, like Wave 1, probably tomorrow. Maybe the day after. Uh, what's today? Friday? So maybe maybe later today. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Um, that's what I'm suspecting anyway. Uh, so obviously has been released to Evercardi. We're up to G. Server region, US only. Database reset, yes. Long-term persistence enabled. Pledge copy enabled. Starting your UEC is just yes so whatever that means can't build under nda testing focus new build has additional work to stow players entities across shard if it's unable to be stowed in the player from the previous one if you could please wait four to five minutes if it stays loading for a long time this should be enough time for it to detect the unstowed from the other shard so it seems like if it's unable to go through and stow you from your current shard, it will store you in another shard. By the sounds of that. Cool. Uh, obviously, other testing factors is physicalized refactor, uh, salvage, platform, assault on Orison, security post crayer, courier delivery mission, sandbox, uh, prison activities, sand caves, Daymar, stand racetrack, great cat racetrack, and new rivers and a pear tree, juniper tree. Known issues. Character customizer stuck on saving on the front end menu after the first time joining. Uh, PES core tech is characters not stowing properly after logout. Which obviously is what that workaround is supposed to be fixing. Multi-vehicle VMA vehicles unable to customize any ship within the vehicle loadout manager. Load uh, location. More than one player can load into a hab at the same time. Transit elevators and trams are jittery. Derelicts, missing salvage wrecks, UI, vehicle HUD, it's possible for the vehicle HUD to vanish for the player during the flight and combat. Stand interactions, terminals are not responsive and some not resetting. Platform, third person camera, massive stutter when using external view. Uh, Corusan, the Corsair does not respond to either expand or retract. Orison, mission, uh, hostile is stuck in the walls at HMRA and the one hostile appears to be missing at BWDG and inventory loot boxes will disappear upon approach or after opening. Features, updates, gameplay, time trials, improved time trial checkpoints tracking for low server frame rates. Polish activation. At, uh, updating the shop values of the contraband kiosk to set to buy. Changed prisoner loot values. Updated the reward for the O2 repair kiosk mission. And updated contraband kiosk setup. Ship and vehicles. Increased shield delay. Oh, sorry. Increased shield down delay from 5 to 10 seconds. Cortec. Additional Gen 12. Gen 12, 3.18.0 VFX optimization. Okay. Uh, bug fixes. So there is a lot of bug fixing. They've done a lot of bug fixing, that's for sure. So they've fixed an issue causing many quick buy transactions to fail. Uh, there was also an issue where bounty hunters do not complete if the target suicides after being downed. So they fixed that. There was also another issue where shield bypass misalignment Hull damage through the shield by energy weapons has been fixed. Uh, loadout saved uh, not function in Arena Commander has been fixed. Loot boxes are missing from the interior of Kraya. Kraya has been fixed. Items looted from corpses cannot be sold at kiosk. It's been fixed. Icon names persistent after player moves cursor off them. It's been fixed. Client will stall at the player for a moment after interdicting, interacting with kiosks, sorry. So, client will stall for the player for a moment after. 
By patient's collisions, players can get stuck in their bed when loading back into the game after crashing. So that's been fixed. Kiosks are still on the old UI. Well, they were. Uh, that was at Orison. That's been fixed. So the Drake Vulture, there was an issue where cargo and vehicle hull bars remain empty when salvaging. That's been fixed. The Anvil Centurion shows as having five missiles and weapons. That's been fixed. The Scope Optics have no crosshairs. But for the KW, sorry, KLWE, that has been fixed. Corsair only shows two shield faces. That's been fixed. Uh, storing ships at non-home locations will result in a locked state. Transferring to storage. Error. That has been fixed. The Kamaray missions failed to find locker to pick up the hacking chip. That's been fixed. So the Infiltrate Orison, there was an issue where you were getting crime stats when Great Cat destroyed on Inspiration Park's platform. That's been fixed. The Flight Hut is not present on the Aegis Egg Eclipse. That's been fixed. Small ships prioritize spawning inside of large hangars at Lawville. Has been fixed. The Grab Interior Thought Prompt. It was no longer present upon dropping interactables from the inventory and a second time that has been fixed. They fixed the caterpillar derelicts. They were spawning requests to keep firing for the AI to keep firing, sending new AI wave through the spawn closets every few seconds. That's been fixed. Uh, Crusher rehabilitation facility uh, AI located. And the prison mines have strange pathing. It's been fixed. When respawning or starting a new match for a previous arena commander, characters can spawn in a blackout state without any prompt. It's been fixed. Uh, Curl 2 was missing from the Stanton system. It's been fixed. Sand Caves, uh, there was an issue with the uh, cube map. With the entrance of the caves not appearing, uh, sorry, not being able to pick up by the sand static shadows. Okay, so yeah, it's a lighting issue. That's been fixed, and also uh, the replacement textures seen on the ground near the corners of Lawville Racetrack has been fixed. They have also fixed eight so uh, sorry server performance improvements. They've put through server improvement performance, sorry. They've fixed eight client crashes, seven server crashes, a multiple GPU crashes, and a Rita Karanda fix as well. Now, there is a repair tool on the website. Now, this is new. Um, where once repair is complete, the following will happen. Your player avatar will be recreated. Your spawn point will be reset. And you will need to recustomize your character. Inventories, items, currencies, mission process will persist. <coughs> so I wonder if that re like gives you back armor that you might have brought and lost. I'm not quite sure. But that is definitely interesting and that sounds really, really cool. So now on the website you have a repair and it will basically go through and repair your character. And the only thing you'll have to worry about losing is the stuff that he's currently wearing. You just have to bring it out of your inventory again because it'll be back in your home base inventory. All right, um, that's actually really good, actually. I like that. Um, yeah, cool. Guys, apart from that, obviously at the end of the day, like I said, we are waiting for this to go to uh, to wider PTU. I would expect it probably tomorrow, today, tomorrow. Um, so at the end of the day, obviously guys, let's keep an eye. As soon as that goes happens, we'll obviously put out a video and uh, nine more, it's, it's gonna happen tomorrow when I'm trying to be working. But apart from that guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. After this, what we'll be doing the Inside Star Citizen watch party. Um, so obviously I think that's about the Polaris this week. I haven't seen it yet. Um, so we'll obviously go through and we'll watch that. Apart from that, obviously the video has been helpful. Please smack that like button if you're new to the channel. Welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.